Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you are truly clueless on how to customize your Android phone and you want to make it look really, really good, well then you've come to the right video as this will teach you a very simple, simple setup for your Android phone. Let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so having a closer look at this amazing looking home screen by the next called Geometry, we can see straight away that the wallpaper makes all of it stand out with these unique colors all coming out from the left hand side and makes all these notifications look a whole lot better. Having a closer look at those notifications, it comes with a lot of different handy ones that you can need on a daily basis, such as the time over here, the date, your battery percentage, as well as some missed notifications, just in case that comes in handy. What's good about these is that they can all be set to shortcuts. So if you want to open up your clock quickly and you just want to select it there, it'll bring up your clock. How cool is that? Finally, we can look at the top here with our forecast, with our weather, with our, with our weekly weather forecast. And finally, if we look at the top over here, it comes with a weekly forecast that's very minimal, very clean, and once tapped, will bring up that awesome Iron Sky app that we've all come to enjoy. So if you'd like to know how to recreate this home screen on your Android phone, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before you begin, just a few things you want to take note of is that you want to download the link that's included in the description below. It comes with the wallpaper as well as the user zip that you just need to either download straight onto your phone or download onto your computer and copy onto your phone. You might need to unzip it using a file explorer. I highly recommend ES File Explorer. Next, you'll be needing any launcher. I'll be using Nova Launcher for this setup, as well as the apps Iron Sky and UCCW. So without any further ado, let's move on to part two. So part two, we'll be moving into our launcher settings. In order to get into your Nova Launcher settings, you want to hold down on your home screen. I like to select this little wrench here. So once tapping that, will bring up these settings. Next, we want to be going into our desktop settings here and then into our desktop grid. Now the author recommends that a 12 by 12 worked well, but for my Nexus 4, it seemed that an 11 by 8 worked just as well. So keep that in mind. Start off with a 12 by 12, but for me, I went for the 11 by 8. I want to go select OK now. Your margins you want to be on none. Your shadows you want deselected. Your home screens you only want one home screen. You want to be able to resize all widgets and overlap widgets. Not too important, but I always keep these selected just in case something goes wrong. Next, we want to go back. We want to go into our look and feel where we want to disable the show notification settings. So the one at the top won't be selected, but you can still swipe down if you wanted. And if you just want to quickly double tap to view it, that's what I always like to do is to go into your gestures and buttons. And you do need the Prime version for this, but I do recommend purchasing the Prime version just because this is a fantastic launcher. Also, there's no physical icon for the app draw, so I just set my home button to open up my app draw just by selecting it over here. So that once you open it, you can select app draw and it'll set it for you. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go back now. And then if we go into our dock now, we also want our dock to be disabled. We won't be needing it. So we just have to simply go back and then back again. And that should be our blank Nova screen setup ready for the wallpaper. Great. So part three of the setup, we want to hold down on the home screen. We want to be selecting wallpapers now. And you want to go into whatever gallery or app that you prefer. I always prefer using quick pick wallpaper to select my wallpapers. And you just want to go into the folder that you've copied this wallpaper onto. So I'm just going to select it now. And with Nova Launcher, you can select the bottom here and select Portrait just to make things a bit easier for resizing. And what worked well for me for my Nexus 4 is that as long as it touched the widths and the bottom, then you should be good to go as it's a UCCW skin that you'll be putting on top, which can always be repositioned and resized. Next, we're going to select OK. It's going to set that wallpaper for you. That's our wallpaper done. Next, we're going to be jumping into the UCCW skin. So the next part of this tutorial, we'll be adding in our UCCW skin. In order to do that, very simple. We just need to hold down on the home screen, select your widgets, and you want to scroll all the way down to you where you'll see UCCW. And it doesn't really matter what size you go for, as you can always be resizing it. So let's go for something like a 4x4. From here, however, you want to select use up at the top here as you'll be importing this skin from that folder that you've hopefully copied onto your phone. 
and you want to look for the geometry dot user that once you select it here it will import it onto your home screen so all you have to do now is tap the hand like it says and it should appear with all the funky skins that we see before us what we want to do next is hold down on it select resize and get it all the way to the bottom and to the sides so all you have to do is resize it so it's a little bit smaller like that it fits almost perfectly so we're just going to tap back now as we'll be editing just a few of these so in order to edit your uccw skin very easy you just need to basically select the skin to bring up your editor if it doesn't do that however that means that your lock widgets mode is on and in order to turn it off you just need to go into your app drawer find uccw open it up it'll bring up this editor you want to select your menu at the top lock widgets and make sure that it's off otherwise you won't be able to get this editor in the skin so i've opened up this editor in the skin very easy and if things aren't fitting too well save a time or date is too low you want to select your background here which will bring up your select objects list there's quite a few things to choose from here so you can either say if you want to move your time you just select time and then it'll bring up a few options here remember if you're still a bit clueless on uccw check in our link in the description below just to make things a bit easier for you as we also cover hotspots so like i said we'll select position over here and you're welcome to move it any direction you want in order to get that perfect fit for this brilliant looking skin once you've got everything positioned the way you want it you want to select the objects here again and you want to bring up your hotspots over here now as you can see they've been a bit weirdly positioned but a lot of people complain that when selecting a hotspot to bring up a certain shortcut it's got that ugly blue square that people don't really enjoy so what i do recommend you do is to actually just clear all these hotspots and in order to do that say now hotspot number six is selected you just want to select hotspot and clear hotspot and you want to do this for all of them from one all the way to six so all you have to do is say go hotspot number two hotspot clear hotspot and just keep doing this each time so just clearing the hotspot until they are all done great now one thing you do want to do in your uccw is set your gmail account so you want to go back into your objects once again you want to scroll to your gmail one over here you want to scroll all the way your controls all the way to number or well, number five you want to select your account it's going to come up with a few gmail accounts select your one that you prefer whereby you now want to select your label and choose your specified label and that's your uccw skin set up i do recommend saving your skin so by selecting save and then save skin so if you remove it it'll always be in your uccw skin list when you want to add one in so lastly what you want to do is select your menu here lock widgets and then select on as this will prevent you from opening up the editor each time you tap on the screen great so finally to add in an application shortcut very easy to do there are two ways of doing it i'm going to go with the easiest first and in order to do that i'm going to hold down on my home screen and select apps so say i wanted to bring up my clock over there i'm going to scroll all the way down to clock i'm just going to select it quickly like that and then drag it over my time just like that Remember in your Nova Launcher settings, you do want to have widgets overlapped and otherwise it's going to get a bit funky dunky over here and it's going to move everything around. Next, what you want to do is hold on on this clock icon. You want to select edit. You want to tap the icon's image and you want to open up the app as now you want to select that blank PNG that you've also copied onto your phone. I might have not mentioned it, but you just need to download it from the link in the description below and copy it onto your phone. It's always handy to have one of these on your phone. You want to select it now it should be pretty blank well it should, it should be completely blank and you want to select ok as now it'll be just be a transparent image you want to select the tick and it should go away but to test it out we want to just select it now and it'll bring up the clock how cool is that great so once you have added in each one of the different icons i'll also show you another way of doing this you can also hold down on the home screen select widgets and you can go into a very powerful app called desktop visualizer it's a free app and it comes in real handy if you want more icons than just a one by one go for any size so say if i want this to cover my date and you just need to tap away select desktop visualizer it'll bring up two options here you want to select your icon remember now you can go into others and you can select none real handy instead of just selecting a blank png and now for action you can say launch application and launch something say for example your calendar this needs to scroll down and find where it is there it is you're going to select it 
you want to clear your label you want to turn off touch effect you're welcome to have it but it doesn't always work out too well and you want to select OK it'll now set it up for you so now wherever you are in this vicinity once you select it brings up the calendar how cool is that now you're welcome to either use just a simple icon or desktop visualizer to the rest of these settings over here whatever you prefer but next we're going to move on to our final part which is adding in the weather great so to add in the weather very easy simple setup to do you want to just hold down on the top area you want to select widgets now and you want to go into that fantastic free app called eye in sky over here you want to select your forecast now as will be forecasting for the entire week your icons you want to select and you want to go for climacons light and your text color you want to be white as well your background color if you select it you want it to be completely transparent so moving the transparency bar make it all the way to the right and then to select the color you're also welcome to deselect your show edit dots as well as your show refresh just to make things a bit more neater and once it looks good in the way you want it you select ok and it'll be a little bit too small but if you still hold down on it select resize and drag it a bit wider and up it should look like that and there we have our home screen complete as you can see it's got our weather widget it's got all of our shortcuts as well as the notifications so it looks really good real simple setup thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen please leave a like or comment on the video as well as subscribe if you haven't already also keep in mind to go check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities as we are ever expanding thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing.